It's 2019. Everybody got their gifts. They done took back the ones they don't want. Kept the ones they like. I like this one. Big ups to my sister. Appreciate you coming through. Give me that for Christmas. I told her I wanted a little small George Warman. But she gave me this pressure cooker called the Power Quick Pot. I know how to use a George Foreman. I don't know how to use this. So I'm starting this little quick view channel on how to cook using the Power Quick Pro. And you guys are going to watch me mess up some stuff, create some good tasting food, great tasting food, this, that, and the other. No cuts, no, no redos, no second taste, nothing. It's how it come out. That's how it come out. And if it comes out bad, I'm just going to try to do it again until I can get it right. So, this is called the Power Quick Pot. A lot of y'all got there got some things called the Power Instant Pot or something like that or just Instant Pot. This is a Power Quick Pot. It's all about pressure cooking. One thing you want to know about pressure cooking is you always got to keep some water or some type of liquid inside so it don't burn out your pot. This is a six quart. It's enough for me. You know, I don't have no huge family or nothing like that. It's just, hey, some, it's going to be showing y'all some quick meals. A lot of y'all into the health. I work out from time to time. 2019, I'm going to start working out more. So you're going to watch me progress as well as I hit the gym, come back and make some healthy food. But it's not going to be healthy all the time because I'm like 200 plus pounds. I like to eat. And I can't survive off these little greens, this green, that, green, that. Nah, I got to have food. So with that being said, got the quad pick pop. Six quarter. It comes with a couple of things you need to know about. Some of you might already have it. If so, cool. Leave some stuff, comments in the below. Have some recipes that you try. Some easy ones. I need easy recipes because, I, like I say, I'm trying to learn how to do this thing. And it comes with a recipe book. But this is not like the simple stuff that you want to do right off hand. You know, I'm looking for something to, hey, how to cook some quick, you know, eggs, rice, uh, chicken breast. Maybe some tilapia, uh, salmon, stuff like that. Something real quick and easy that you can come home, throw some stuff in the pot, go do what you got to do, come back and you got a nice little meal waiting for you. Some of y'all out there in the fitness, you like to do your meal prep, something like this might be right for you. You know, come knock it out, do all your little preparation for the week, stack them in your refrigerator, and you, you got them on the go for you each day. So, this is the little grill. This is like the little, it's like a little riser. That you keep inside the pot to keep it. It's like a, they call it like a steam grill or something like that. I'm going to be using it today to lay my eggs on. Because we're going to be making what a lot of people on the internet are calling the perfect egg. So you're supposed to be able to throw these eggs in here. Cook for about 5 or 10 minutes or so. It says 5 minutes. But it takes a few minutes for it to get to where it needs to start cooking. So that's why it's really not truly a 5 minute type deal. But we're going to start with that today. The perfect boiled egg, hard boiled eggs. I got some large white eggs right here, as you can see. Got a couple other things right here as well. I might throw together some tuna fish tonight uh, just to get it done. So I won't have to mess around with nothing else. Uh, so basically, boil a few eggs. See how it come out live. Taste test live. No second test. I'm going to go ahead and post it, how it comes out. So that being said, I know a lot of y'all saying, we'll just go ahead and get to it. Nah, this is my show, my little cooking video. I'm going to go through it step by step for those that want to know. Six quart pot right here. It's got like a little measurements on it, things right here. Uh, pretty cool. Um, I'm going to be using something similar to this at the towards the end of the show to store my ice water in. But basically all you do is you take this little base, whatever you can put in here. You don't want to overfill it. Keep it about right here. You know, whatever you put in here, you can cook it and have to worry about it burning as long as you got enough fluid and liquids in there so we can get that whole steam pressure process going on stuff. So I'm gonna drop that in there. Don't have any water in it right now. I got a bag of ice. Uh, some other things that comes with it comes with a little measuring cup. Comes with like a little spatula and it comes with like a little casserole bowl. So I'm not gonna be using the casserole or the uh, the spatula. So I'm gonna put those to the side right now. Oh it comes with actually a little uh, top so you can once your food is cooked you know, you want to take the main thing off, just want to leave like that, or you can just store it on your table, already on your pay, you know, with already with a little cover on it. So there's some cool little things that come with it, and they got a lot of other accessories that you can get, but this is good for me right now. I'm good with this, so 
basically, let's get started. I'm going to take a little riser, drop it in the 6 4 pot, and I got some bottled water right here. I like, a lot of y'all are funny with the tap water thing, so I'm going to use a little bottle of water here. I'm going to put about a cup and a half in here to get started. So two of these is like a cup. So that's a full cup there, and I'm going to half it up. About right there. So that's enough of water so you won't get the burn message that comes up on your quick pot. And if we get that, it's a thing that you do called deglaze it. I'm going to have another video that show you how to deglaze that uh, so you can kind of prevent those burn messages from popping up on your quick pot. Or some of you, like I said, you got the Instapot. So basically from here, just take a dozen eggs. I'm not cooking a dozen eggs. Uh, I'm going to start with about three eggs. You can cook up to 12. And what you want to do is kind of just line them up around the riser. Like so. Actually, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do four. Put those in there. Put the eggs up. So I don't need them. Got the water in there. I'm going to power it on. Got the blue display. What you're looking for is red. Red means, hey, hot, cooking, you know, something's happening on the inside. So right now we got the blue light. And what I like about this here is it's got presets on it, you know. I don't know what they all mean, but it's got the presets on it. So if you hit one of them, you hit like the uh, pressure on it. Right now, I see things like beef, poultry, fish, pork, ribs, vegetable beans. So I can choose any one of those based on what I'm cooking. Hit it, and it's supposed to be preset so it can get the right settings and the right temperature. Well, all you do is just walk back. So we're going to try that. A lot of people say, hey, you got to hit it on high pressure and set it down five, six, seven minutes. This bad boy already got a preset for it. So all I want to do is hit pressure. I guess it's got a little timeout feature because it disappeared. Uh, you can do custom and put your own on there. But I'm just going to basically turn this little knob until I see A. That's A. So I'm going to press it. That selects it. I'm going to hit it again. And it tells you your lid's off. So that's cool. All you got to do from here, put your lid on. Got a little dot in the middle so you know how to line everything up. A lot of them don't come with stuff like that. You got open and close. And what you want to do, make sure it's also got a little vent thing on the top of it. Where you can close your vent and you can open your vent. Close it. So I'm basically going to drop the lid on. Turn it to where it lines up and say close. Open the vent. It opens up, close the vent. I'm going to close the vent on this one. It might explode the eggs. I don't know. But I'm going to close the vent on this and cook these eggs for however determined minutes that it has preset into the system. So, like I said, hey, I'm just doing research on the internet on how to do stuff like this. You see it, you see it, it go down live as I try to figure this thing out. So, basically, let's try it again. Turn it to egg. Preset to four, that seems like a low number, but we'll see how it turns out. And so from there, all you do is wait. So while it's doing this thing, I'm going to get the cold ice water ready. Because basically what happens is when you cook them in here, you're supposed to immediately put them in the cold water. That way you can peel them easily and they fall right out of the shell. So you can add them to your dish. A lot of people don't want to peel them. Maybe you want to leave them in the shell, throw them in the refrigerator on the way to work for a nice little source. You know, just pop an egg on the way to work or you get to work throughout the day. Just grab some hard, hard boiled egg, eggs. Like I said, I might throw it into some tuna fish. Got a couple of cans of tuna fish that I might mix up. You know, sort of like a quick treat. You know, it's, it's, it's late. Uh, well, it's not really late, but you know, it's, I don't want to put nothing heavy in me right now, so I'll make, just make some real like a little like tuna mix or something like that, tuna salad. Cut some vegetables into it, green peppers, red peppers, whatever you want to do. So let's let this thing do its thing. I'm going to put some ice in here to have ice water ready for when it's done. I can just drop it right into it.
probably don't need that much ice, but I'm just gonna take there. Just go ahead and go ahead and use it. So I'm gonna fill this up with water and let it do its thing. Wait for it to start up. Put that to the side for right now. Like I say, it comes with the recipe book. And it's quite a few nice little recipes in here. They like got grandma's meatballs and stuff. Hey, who don't like a meatball, you know? That's what I'm talking about, you know? Hey, bread, pudding, yogurt. This thing makes yogurt. So I'm like, hey, we're going to try it. You got shrimp boils and stuff. So we're going to have some fun with this. It's 2019. Happy New Year to everybody. Like I said, this is the first episode, January 1st. So, hey, we're going to have a good time learning how to use this. By the way, it's sponsored by... That expression, apparel, get your gear, train hard and take over. We got a lot of fitness gear out there. Uh, got a lot of uh, trendy tees, a lot of, uh, uh, who's that trying to call me? Sorry about that. We got a lot of trendy tees out there, self-empowerment tees. Uh, we got self-affirmation tees. Anything you want, funny tees, whatever you can think of. We probably got it. Got about 800 designs plus, ready to go, ready to ship. Uh, towels, everything you can think of, backpacks, all kinds of stuff, fitness gear, leggings, capris, whatever you need, that expression guaranteed, and okay, so now it's turning red, so like I say, it builds up to the time, to the pressure it takes to actually start cooking, so now I think that process is actually getting ready to kick in, um, when it actually starts really, uh, pressurizing and cooking the food for you. So we're going to let it do its thing. Uh, I'm going to pause the video right now. I'm going to probably chop some of that out because I don't want to sit here and just basically talk to you for another five minutes. That'll bore you to death. You're probably already tired of hearing me right now anyway. But like I say, subscribe to the channel. Cooking with gas. We're going to be having fun with the pressure cooker. I can actually hear it building up right now. Uh, it's got a little pressure valve on the back. So you want to, if you do have one of these, don't put your face directly over it because sometimes that pressure might come out, might scar your face and stuff. And you always want to be safe and careful when you're using these things. Little kids might come around, put their face over. What are you cooking? Get scalded and stuff like that. We don't want that to happen. It's not a good look. So basically, you know, once that once that gets done, you want to give it a test try and all that good stuff. But yeah, tell your friends about it. First episode, I'm gonna put the links and everything in the description below. That's another thing I'm trying to learn about YouTube on how to use the tags and all that good stuff so you can find my videos until then share it with your friends your cousins hey just a guy up here cooking with a pressure cooker hey check him out he might have some funny jokes here and there you know just doing his thing on, on, on YouTube like everybody else you know so keep that in mind I'm gonna be rolling out some videos weekly so come back I think you might get a notice that's a new video available if you subscribe to the channel that expression that's the video channel on YouTube also, the website is thatexpression.com as well. So, hey, appreciate you in advance. If you do sign up for it, you don't like the video, hey, sorry about that. It's not for everybody. We having fun. Just kick back. Watch me cook. Cooking with gas. Grown and sexy. So, I'm going to pause it because it just kicked in for like another four minutes right here on the dial. Uh, like I say, it's going to work its way up. And I'm going to pause it and when it's actually getting ready, close to being done. I'm going to start the video back, you know, I might edit a little bit so you can see how it looks once the thing is finally done. All right? Right back at you. All right, so we got about one minute left on the, the uh, eggs and the Quick Pop Pro, so I want to go ahead and start the video back up so you guys can see how it looks when it come out. So the countdown's on one. This feels like it's New Year's all over again. One minute to the countdown, the ball's dropping. <laughs> the egg's dropping, you know? But we're going to see how it comes out, like I say. All right, so what's going on? Letting you know, hey, that process is done. We're going to wait till it starts beating. Okay, so now what it's doing now, it's done with the process. But basically, if you can see this setting right here, if you had one of these, it says keep warm. So it's keeping the contents that you cook warm until you come in and actually turn it off. So even when you take your food out, you want to make sure that that warm button is not on because if you leave your pot in there empty, it may scorch it, burn what's in there. Who knows? You know, it's got like a slow burn, a slow cook, but still, you want to be safe with it. Make sure that that button is off of it. So that's, that's like about four to five minutes. So 
Now I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the little steam valve on it. At the top it's closed. And this is what's called quick release. Like I said, it's not that super hot. You know, it's just steam. But you don't want to put your face over it. So you, know, you just stay away from the steam valve. So we're going to let that quick release before we open it up and check out how the eggs came out. So now that that's done, as you can see, I got three minutes on the warming function of it. So it's been sitting on a warm setting for about three minutes. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. You still want to open it up slowly and carefully because it still might have some steam inside of it. Uh, so just go ahead and lift your lid up. Let the water drain back into the pot. And like I say, it's not super hot, it's just steam. But you still want to be safe and careful when you're cooking. So I'm going to set this down to the side. And I'm going to immediately transfer the eggs from the pot to some ice cold water. So we did four eggs, none of them were cracked, so that's a good thing. Hopefully they're cooked all the way through. <laughs> and I'm just going to let those sit in that cold water. For about a minute or so, then I'm start the video back up. So the eggs have been sitting for about a minute or two. And like I said before, as you can see, steam is still coming up out of the pressure cooker. That's because it's still on warm. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel on it. Turn that thing off. Blue screen means cold, inactive. So we should be good to go with that. You know, clean up is easy. Just dump it out, rinse it out and everything. And you should be good to go with that. Place the lid back on it. Temporary just for now. And I'm going to crack these eggs. And see how they came out. a little bit. Don't worry, my hands are clean. Uh, I always want to keep a cook with clean hands. So let's see how this thing turned out. Oh yeah. Good to go. Cooked all the way through. That's nice. That's real nice. Yeah. Quick and easy. Snacks on the way to work throughout the day. The kids love it. Everybody like it. Hey, hey, come on. I'm going to take another bite of that real quick. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. Perfect eggs. Power quick pot. Talk with my mouth full, but hey, it is what it is. Check back. More episodes to come. You should be getting alerts if you subscribe to the channel. I'm going to put the links down below. That Expression, Power Quick Pop Pro, sponsored by That Expression. The show is called Cooking With Gas, and as the days go along, weeks go along, months go along, I'm going to get better and better, and we're going to have a lot of nice meals going on. Who knows, I might start inviting people over to try the meals as they get done, have a whole little cooking talk show thing going on. First episode, it's done, that's a wrap. Perfect Eggs, That Expression, Cooking With Gas on the Power Quick Pop Pro. Appreciate you checking the video out. Hey, you can like it, share it, add comments. If you got any good, quick and easy uh, little recipes, throw it down there. I'll include the link. I could check them out. I may be able to do it on the show for you. You know, hey, Kroger's right around the corner. Go do a grocery run. Or they can even deliver it now. Hey, we throw something in the pot. Tell you how it is. You can see how it comes out live real, in real time. That's it. That expression. Let's go.